So interventional radiology is a field of medicine where we use minimally invasive techniques and imaging to basically diagnose and treat diseases. A lot of the diseases that used to be treated prior uh, by surgery can now be treated by minimally invasive means. It works by a human being like me who is a, a, a fellowship trained interventional radiology is using catheters and wires or, or needles and, and, and catheters to get into places in the human body uh, without having to cut people open. So we navigate through x-rays essentially. It's different from radiology because radiology is essentially the only thing diagnostic radiologists do is basically look at screens and diagnose diseases. What we do in interventional radiology is different. We actually use those images to actually treat people. So we go a little bit of a step further where we actually go inside the human body and navigate through the imaging to, to actually treat diseases. Usually someone called a vascular and interventional radiologist, uh, the word vascular just means vessels, meaning we could treat vessels and we could also treat uh, solid organs. A lot of patients actually need interventional radiology. It's a, it's a field of medicine that once you know it's available and your doctors know it's available, we solve so many different problems. Um, there's a field of interventional radiology called neurointerventional radiology where we treat brain aneurysms and we treat vascular malformations in the brain. And then we treat every type of disease from the neck to the toe. Um, one of the examples I gave before was a uh, uterine fibroid embolization where we treat fibroids. We also now treat men who have enlarged prostates. We treat liver cancer. It's, it's unlimited. We use imaging to get biopsies in the body without having to cut people open. So essentially, we could see it on an image, we could essentially treat it. It's typically necessary when there's a pathology. A pathology meaning there's something abnormal within the body and that abnormality is causing a problem for the patient. Um, and again, this is typically an alternative to surgery in a lot of cases. It could be quite affordable, uh, es essentially, if you look at uh, basically comparing uh, a lot of the techniques we do to surgery is that we could get patients outside of the hospital very shortly compared to uh, open surgery where you stay in the hospital for a long time and that's where the cost savings are mostly for us. It's quite safe. Again, it's, everything is done minimally invasively. Just this morning, just before you came in, we just did an uh, embolization, which is blockage of some vessels in a man's brain that was causing him to, to bleed uh, multiple times. He's going to be going home this afternoon. And that's the beauty of interventional radiology is that we could do things in a very minimally invasive way that lets people get back to their normal lives as soon as possible. We, we basically uh, we do a lot of safety and radiation. Uh, uh, there's safety and radiation to me, the physician, and then safety and uh, Radiation, of radiation to the patient. We use as minimal radiation as possible. And basically, most of the cases we do, you get as, basically as much radiation as you get a, basically t get, uh, taking an airline, airline flight outside of, the, outside of the country is the same level of radiation that you get. But the minimum could be as less than 0 0.01 seconds. The maximum, we try to stop at 60 minutes. Um, when, when we get to 60 minutes, we start to have concerns that you might have a radiation injury. It matters a lot because, you know, everywhere in the world now, every field of medicine is turning to interventional radiology to take care of their patients. It's uh, incredibly sad that here in Nigeria, uh, Nigerian patients have not had access to interventional radiology for years. Uh, but, you know, for example, in my practice in America, if either me or my partners do not show up to the hospital for a week, the hospital will essentially shut down because our services are that integral to um, patient care. So it's, again, we're the doctor's doctor and we help other doctors take care of their patients.